this is one of the case studies that is very close to my heart and it, it was phenomenally interesting solving this problem. So in this problem, we diagnose whether a patient has, a, has cancer and what type of cancer does a patient have using the whole patient's medical records and gene data. Let me explain what, what the data looks like just to get a sense of what it is. Right? For every patient, we are given an ID. We are given some data about the gene uh, variations and uh, uh, some genomic data about the patient. And we are also given the whole medical record, literally like tons of text, the whole medical record for a patient. And we have to predict what type of gene mutation he has or what type of gene mutation, uh, cancer causing mutation that the patient has, right? So what you have to predict is the, is the cancer mutation that the patient has. This is super important because let me explain this. Let's say I can have a patient ID. I can have some data about genes and I have the whole text medical record of every medical test that was done. If let's assume there was an x-ray taken for this patient, the, the whole x-ray is described in words by, by a professional doctor. Similarly, if there was, if there was, let's say, um, a test done, let's assume there was, there was some blood test done, right, on this patient. So you would, you would actually have the actual transcript of the whole medical record for the patient. This is enormous amount of text data. And using all of this information, we have to predict what type of cancer mutation the patient has. This has huge implications. Imagine if you're working for a hospital. It could be any major hospital chain in the world. And a lot of, especially cancer hospitals are trying to leverage because today solving this problem is very hard because there is a huge limitation in number of cancer specialists, right? The number of cancer specialists is too few. Um, the number of cancer specialists is too few. And even a cancer specialist takes will take probably few hours going through the whole medical record. Imagine if I can build a machine learning system where if you give me, of course, I don't require the patient ID. If you give me the gene mutations, uh, sorry, if you give me the gene variations and the medical record, if I can predict what type of cancer he has, and if I can do this very, very fast, instead of taking hours that a human would take, imagine if I can do this in, let's say, minutes or even seconds. If I can, and with, 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 a, high, with a high accuracy, if I can do it, it has huge implications in medicine. And I believe that one of the biggest and most impactful applications of medicine is in cancer diagnosis. This is something very close to my heart. And I believe this is where humanity's biggest impact of AI will be, will be observed. And this, this is a very nice and very beautiful data set. This data set is about 157 MB of data because most of it is text data. So even in 157 MB of data, you have, you have massive amount of data. And this, this was actually provided by uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And thanks, th thanks to the hospital and the medical center, which has provided all this data. Today, we can sit and analyze all of this data. Hopefully, eventually, some of you would actually go on to build some of these cancer diagnosis systems um, in future for various hospitals and healthcare institutions across the world.